ready for anything. Are you going to work? Yeah. Are you sure you fell up to it? I can't sit around here for the rest of my life, can I? All right then, but if it gets too much, come home, yeah? Yeah, all right. Sorry about yesterday, me and your dad. Yeah, well, I've heard it all before. Well, I'll talk to him, make sure it doesn't happen again, yeah? And that's the least of my worries. Yeah. See you. Bye. Craig, indeed. get up and put that bedding away. Yeah, I've just finished watching this. Nature. You don't own the telly, you know. What if there's something I want to watch? I think we can do it without the television for now. Don't be such a fascist! I'm management. It's part of my job description. Jess, this stuff's yours. Can you find some room for it? Where? Under your bed. I'm going to have a word with Rodney today about the accommodation. We can't possibly live in here long-term. We'll go mad. You heard what he said. All the shell is the same size. Well, perhaps we could rent another. Mm. I suppose it's worth asking. Whether we could afford it is another matter. Well, while you're there, why not ask him if there are any jobs going for me? That'd help. OK. Right. Do either of you two fancy going to the village later? What for? Well, I thought I'd go and see Scott, see if he's got a repair date for the car. And while you're there, just tell him I'm really sorry about yesterday. It caused a bit of friction with Scott, but she seems keen to start. I'm on my way over there now. Come with me, if you like. Say hello. Chris? What? Holiday Park? Oh, yeah, yeah. You might show a bit of interest. Sorry. Don't worry. I'll deal with it. I've got other things in my mind. No prizes for guessing what. I don't like making mistakes, especially when they threaten to ruin something special. Uh, charity still hasn't signed. It's getting out of control. Maybe you can turn the situation to your advantage. How? Morning, well, if either you and Charity have got any doubts about the relationship, it's better to get them out of the way now than six months into the marriage. Yeah? Be honest with her. Tell her exactly how you feel. Ask her to do the same. Yeah? Get everything out into the open. I don't think she's capable of doing that. At least I can give her the chance. Could make you stronger. Or blow you apart. What it is, I just can't get my head around what they did. They're only kids. The fact that they kept it secret for so long, that's what amazes me. Oh. But you think when that guy got arrested, he would have said something, wouldn't you? Mama. Hi. Hiya. Hello, Mark. You've heard what's happened, then? Uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect to see you. I'm just fed up with being stuck at home. I'd like to come back to work if you'll still have me. Uh, it's up to be nice. Look, I'll, I'll understand if you don't want me anymore. No, of course we do. We can always use an extra pair of hands, can't we, Marlon? Yeah. Right, what shall I do? Uh, you, you can wash me some lettuce. Yeah, all right. I'll be through in a minute. Are you sure about this? The system's going to judge him, Marlon, not me. Thank you. How's Eve, Mrs Birch, if you don't mind me asking? No. No, I don't mind. To be honest, I don't think she realises just what she's been involved in. How do you mean? Well, this morning she asked if she could go out. No one in particular, just to see her friends. What did you say? Well, I told her I didn't think it was a very good idea and... and she said that if people said horrible things to her, she'd take no notice. But that wasn't what I was meaning. I'm not sure I understand. I don't see how she could even contemplate going out. I thought she'd be too ashamed to show her face. I see. Oh, she accepted what I said. She didn't argue, but... It made me think. I don't recognise the girl who was in the car that night. As the one who wanted to go out this morning as though nothing had happened. I thought I knew her, but I don't. I don't know her at all. Maggie! This is my daughter, Nicola. Hello. Hey, pleased to meet you. I'm really looking forward to working with you. I'm sorry? Nicola's going to be acting as bar manager. Really? Responsible to you, of course. Chris and I were anxious that you should have some support as soon as possible. I see. It's not a problem, is it? No, no, of course not. 
One less thing for you to worry about. Right, well, I'll leave you to chat to Dad. Got a lot to do. See ya. See ya, sweetheart. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry to spring that on you, but uh, I want to get this place up and running as soon as possible. Yes, of course. And so do I. Uh, Rodney? Mm -hmm. We're awfully tight for space in the chalet. Is there any chance of an extra one? Well, I suppose I could let you have one at a reduced rate. At least until the season starts. How much? Uh, 400 a month. I'll uh, talk to Phil. The charity and me are off to the Woolly for some lunch. Do you want to come? No, I can't. I've got to crack on with this. You still upset about yesterday? Well, it's not just the job, is it? How is Donna? Is she all right? She's bad. So is Mum. Come on, Chloe. Listen, I better be off. I'll see you later, yeah? Jean. Hi. Hi. You know, Maggie and me feel really bad about yesterday. Especially after you've been so nice to us. Listen, it wasn't your fault anyway, really. Because, um, Maggie accepted the job in good faith. She had no idea you were in the frame. Look, can we just forget about it? Or I'll just put the whole thing behind me if I can. Sure. So, um, what's the news on the car? Well, I've managed to pinpoint a radiator in Hotton, so uh, when I finish this, I'll go and pick it up this afternoon, and then I'll fill it for you tomorrow. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good of you to do it so quickly. Yeah, I know. You're lucky. Can I buy you a pint? No. No, thank you. I'm all right. You can buy me one. Another time. Oh, Mark, could you pop over the shop and get some paper napkins, please, because we've run out? Yeah, sure. I think it's really good of you letting him work here after what he's done. Well, I don't think sacking him would do any good to you. No, but it could make some of the customers feel uncomfortable, you know, having him around. Well, I don't suppose he feels too comfortable himself, Trish. Get us another white wine, will you, Chloe? You haven't finished that one yet. Hello, Charity. Oh, right. I'll get myself on while I'm there. <sighs> Just can't leave me alone, can you? I wondered if you'd come to a decision. Yeah, I have. I've decided to sign the flaming agreement. Are you satisfied? Surprised. Yeah, well, I'm sick of you hassling me, Zoe. I just want to sign it and get away marrying Chris. I want you to leave me alone. Hmm, I'll bet you do. Zoe, it's over. You've won. I'm doing what you want me to do. Just promise me you will never play that tape to Chris. Please. I'll do no such thing. That was the deal. If you sign, I won't say anything today, or tomorrow, or next week, or maybe even next year. But never is a long time. Things might change. See, so you lied. On the contrary, I was being honest. Something you've never quite managed. You too. Feels weird. Yeah. You back at work then? Oh, yeah, I'm just a bit sick of being stuck at home, you know? Yeah. It's like being in prison. Sorry. You know I gave myself in because I had to. I couldn't keep it to myself any longer. I know. I, I didn't want to get you lot dragged in, so I, I told the police I did it and no one else. So, how did they find out about the rest of us? It was Eve. She grasped us up? Copper told me. She was always going on about keeping it a secret. Good mind to go and see her. Don't bother. I can understand why she did it. I suppose it don't make any difference. I wouldn't let you take all the blame. Would we, Rob? No. Mark! Cheers. Hurry up, we need those napkins now! I've, I've got to go. I'll, I'll see you later, yeah? Yeah.
Hello, Carlos. Hi. How are you? Fine, yeah. How about you? I'm OK. So, you on your way in for a pint? <laughs> You're joking, aren't you? No. I thought you would have been in before now. You said the last thing you wanted to see was me in there. Remember? Yeah, well, the dust has settled now. At least we can do is be civilised. It's fine by me. So, if you want to come in for a drink, you'd be more than welcome. Thanks. Well, I might call in later. Cheers. Just these, please, Emily. It's good to see you both. And you. Been thinking about you, wondering how you are. Yeah, well, it's not been easy. I can imagine. One pound, please. And what about Donna? Have you seen her? She's very upset. Well, her mum's finally tired to come to terms with what's happened. Well, if you get a chance, will you tell her we're asking after her? Of course I will. It's just that we want to try and help each other. Are we, Andy? Andy? That bloke could have gone to prison for what we did. He must hate us. He won't be the only one. Well, I don't hate you. Thanks. We'd better get back. Serve them, they're giving the creeps. They're still Robert and Andy Subden. They haven't turned into monsters. Well, since you're feeling so saintly today, you can give out a few of these. What are they? They're invites to Ash's birthday party. I can't do that, not in here. Why not? Well, I hardly think it would be appropriate advertising a party at such a difficult time. I think you're being a bit oversensitive. Maybe I am. The answer's still no. All right, then. I'll hand them out myself. Oh, I didn't realise your tart was going to be here. It's lovely to see you too, darling. I've, um, come to talk about the kids. Oh, we've just been doing the same, haven't we, Sean? What? Anything you've got to say, you can say in front of Tara. There are kids, Sean. It's none of her business. Well, if you must know, Tara's been very helpful. I've suggested they have a meeting with my solicitor. Really? He's very good. And no doubt very expensive. I find where the law is concerned, money talks, but then you'd know that better than anyone. Sean, I don't want her money. Mark and Ollie are our responsibility. I know. So I want them to have the best defence they can get. I think they've got quite a lot going for them. Really? They must have been devastated emotionally when they found out that you were sleeping with a local hoodlum. It's bound to count in their favour. Are you going to let her say that? It's true. I'm glad you've come. I've got something very important I want to say to you. Me too, which no, is why... I... Please, let me finish. I thought very carefully about what I want to say. All right. I'm listening. I never meant the agreement to cause a rift between us. I hate what it's done. So do I. I mean, the document, it doesn't matter. Well, not really. The fact is, when we're married, you know, we need to be able to trust one another completely. Have you any reason to doubt that? No. No. I thought getting you to sign was a formality. I was wrong. It's put you on the spot. So what are you saying? I want to marry you. More than ever. So if there's anything that might cause a problem between us, then let's let's get it out now and, and deal with it. Then we can move on. What do you say? I'll sign. What? I'll sign the document. That's what I came here to say. You're sure? You better hurry up and fetch it, Chris, before I change my mind. That, that is such a relief. Thank you. Hi, Tricia. Carlos. I'll have a pint, please. I'm not sure. Bernice? Can I? Oh, no, it's OK, Trish. You can serve him. We've cleared the air, haven't we, Carlos? I hope so. What's she doing? 
bet she's handing out flies for the holiday village, the cheeky cash. Shall I tell her to get lost? No, leave it. Hi, Trish. What do you want? I want to give you these. There's one for you and Marlon and one for Diane. But what are they? I'm organising a surprise party for Ashley. I thought he needed cheering up after the way he's been treated. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, go on, we've got to rally round. Show him lots of us still care about him. Nobody deserves what he's been through. Please. I don't know, I'll have to ask Marlon. I'll be there, please, don't let him down. Only keep it a secret. And if you want any tips on how to do that, you can ask one of these two. They're experts. There we go. Has that put your mind at rest? Just glad it's over. I'll get the champagne. Come here. Hmm. I'll take the notice of her, Bernice. She's just being vindictive. Doesn't mean that she's wrong, though, does it? She had no right to talk to you like that. I'd say she had every right after what we did. Well, that's it. I'm not going to a party now, not after that. But you must go. Why? Because it's not her party, it's Ashley's. And he needs to know that people care about him. Please go, Trisha, for his sake. Oh, Bernice. When you came round today, I'd uh, more or less decided to scrap that agreement. Really? Yeah. I was sick of what it was doing to us. I mean, if you told me that I had no fear and that you were committed to me, I think I'd have been tempted to tear the damn thing up. You see how trusting he is where you're concerned, Charity? With good reason. She's proven that by signing. And now you can look forward to years of wedded bliss. Nora, she's jealous. Not at all. I'm delighted with the way things have turned out. You've proven I've got nothing to worry about. You made me very happy. I think a toast is in order, don't you? To us. No, I can't. I can't do it to you, Chris. It's not fair. Signing that agreement proves nothing. You were right to doubt me. I betrayed you. Didn't I, Zoe? What are you talking me about? Me and Zoe. We did have an affair. Not does she? She's been blackmailing me, Chris. She said that if I didn't sign the agreement, she would tell you everything that happened. <laughs> She's lying. I chose you instead of her and she couldn't handle it. The reason I didn't sign it weren't because of you, it was because I didn't want to be forced into it. But she wouldn't let it go, would she? She kept on at me, on and on, till I, till I gave in. So I decided to sign the agreement to get her off my back. But she still weren't satisfied. I asked her to promise me never to tell you about us and she wouldn't. I don't believe it. I can't marry you, Chris. Not with this hanging over me. And I am fed up of lying to you. You said we should be honest with each other. Well, I have been. And you probably never want to see me again. And I might have lost everything. But at least I'm free of you. We can't afford 400 a month, not with only you working. I oh, know. Does that mean we have to stay crammed in here? Won't be forever. I'd rather have given you the job, but I couldn't argue, because she's the boss's daughter. That's OK. I'll find something else. On the other hand, there might be a bit of part-time work for you lot. Mm -hmm. What sort of work? Cleaning, that sort of thing. No way. Oh, she's got very delicate hands, as Jess. <laughs> There's no way I'm mopping out scuzzy bogs for anybody. Will we get paid? Of course. It won't be a fortune, but... I don't mind. I'll do it. And me. Oh, come on, Phil, you don't have to. I want to. Creep. Lighten up, Jess, please. What's the matter? I'm not hungry. Is it true? You're well rid of her. Is it true? We had an affair, yes. The rest. The blackmail. It wasn't blackmail. Is it true? She'd have bled you dry. Did you force Charity to sign that agreement? I did it for you. Get out. Chris. Get out! I heard of 
about the crash. I'm sorry. Can't help thinking it's my fault. Oh, of course it isn't. I've always tried to be a good mum. You are. Hey, they're still good kids in spite of what's happened. I want to help them more than anything, Lisa. I just can't seem to find the right words. Mm. It's bound to be difficult for you. They're going to go and see Tara's solicitor. Sean's seen to that. It's like they don't need me anymore. Hey, you're their mum. You can give them something no one else can. Can I get you anything? No. Can we at least talk about this? No. What are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> 